Hey everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial just for you guys. Today we're gonna learn how to make a cool, frosty Olaf balloon wand. Stay tuned. All right, so it's January and I know a lot of parts of the country are expecting blizzards this week, which is crazy to me because I'm here in my studio garage and I'm kind of about to start sweating. So I hope all of you guys up north where it's about to be snowing are safe and you've got plenty of supplies and you're warm and just hang tight, I guess. I don't know what you do in a blizzard. <laughs> I guess you can make balloon animals, right? So here's a good wintry little fellow to keep you some company while you're hunkered down in your homes during the blizzard. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this Olaf wand is really fast and simple. You're gonna need 3260s. For the wand part, I like to use a light blue and a dark blue. You can use whatever colors you want, but those I think are good kind of frozen wintry colors. Uh, we're gonna need a mocha brown for the arms, and then you're gonna need a printed Olaf face, five inch round Olaf. I get mine usually from continentalsales.net, and optional, you don't have to do this part, but I like to put his head inside of a clear five inch round that has snowflakes printed on it, so it looks like he's in a snow globe. So we've got one of those, and an optional, just a plain white five inch round. Okay, so we're gonna start with the two blue 260s, and with my green hand pump, I'm gonna blow both of these up four pumps. So the way I count pumps, I go one, two, three, four, take it off, and tie it off. And do the same thing with your next balloon. And we're gonna just gonna straight away, we're gonna tie these together right at the nozzle. Okay. Now at the top, we're gonna do two loops on each balloon. You want it to be about the same size. I do about a hand width loop. Twist that, fold it over again, twist. Do the same thing for your other balloon. All right, and now you just wanna arrange these so that they're alternating colors at the top, like that. Okay. Now, your balloon's coming down on the bottom. It should be relatively even. We're gonna start twisting them together. Woo! All right, so twist them together down until you get about one to two inches at the end, and then do an actual twist. And I like to take one of these and push it through. It kind of helps it to not come untwisted if it gets played with. So we have this at the bottom. We're gonna do two poodle tails just cause kids love poodle tails. And they love balloons inside of other balloons. So this magical wand has both and kids go crazy for it. All right, so this is our wand so far. Now this could be a great base for any kind of wand. You can put all kinds of things on top of here. But today we're doing the snowman. So he's gotta have some arms. We're gonna need a Mocha 260. And I'll do about four pumps on that one as well. Tie that off. We're gonna make them some little hands, which is just a one inch bubble, and then two more small one inch bubbles. So you get three. You're gonna twist these last two together to make like a little dog head. And then do a nice, the shorter the arms are, kind of the cuter it is. You don't wanna to be too short, obviously. They gotta stick out of here a little bit. So I like to do about a three or four inch arm. And we're gonna twist that in between two of our loops here. So just get your balloon, pull it through to the other side. You don't even have to twist it around and around and around, just kind of lock it in there. And then come out the other side with another arm. And then two bubbles for the hand, twist those together. And the rest of this, you're just gonna twist off another bubble and get rid of the rest. Now you've got his stick arms. Now you're gonna take your Olaf head and we're gonna stuff it inside of our clear snowflake balloon. And usually the way I do that is either use a balloon stick to shove it in there, or if you don't have one on hand, you can just 
fold your five inch round in half and then kind of roll it from the side to make a nice skinny little rolled up balloon and it'll slide right inside of the clear. You can pull it down to get it all the way in there. And usually at events, I'll have a whole bunch of these already pre-stuffed so you don't have to do that step when you've got a line of kids standing in front of you. All right, we're gonna blow the clear snowflake balloon up first, about two pumps there. Take your pump out and then we're gonna put it up inside of Olaf and blow his head up until it looks good. <laughs> All right, and I don't even tie these off anymore. Save your fingers. Just take the nozzle here, holding it tight, and you're just gonna twist it down around your loops. Okay, no air is coming out of there. All right, so now this can be done just like this. You're like, here you go, kids love it, and you're off to the next one. But if you've got some extra time, you wanna make it a little bit more detailed, you can grab a plain white five inch round and just put a little puff of air in here so you've got a nice round bubble. I'm gonna tie that off. And we can put this in between the two front loops. Um, <laughs> front loops. So <laughs> we can uh, just slide that in there and it'll be kind of like one of his snowball bubbles on his body. So I'm just gonna take the nozzle and wrap it around, get it locked in there good, and adjust his arms so that they're coming out the way you want them. And then all you have to do for drawing is just draw three little buttons on this white bubble. So there you go, a fun, quick, and easy Olaf wand that's perfect for fast events and for this winter season when I know a lot of you guys are getting snow. So stay safe out there and just stay home and make Olafs. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to reading everything that you guys write down there. If you have any questions for me, also leave those down in the comments and hopefully we can answer those in a future Q&A video. If you're new to my channel, you should probably subscribe because we put out new furry balloon tutorials all the time. I try to do every Tuesday, but I'm a little bit prego right now. So my schedule, my time, table has been a little bit off this month, but trying to get back on track. Um, so tutorial Tuesdays, free balloon animal tutorials. We also do tips, tricks, reviews, and all kinds of other cool stuff. So definitely subscribe. And I'd love to see pictures of what you guys are making. You can post those on my Facebook page. The link is down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.